Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello and welcome to Really Random Rants. Today we have special guest star, Rusty Gill. That's me. How you so, doing? He is an artist, and I want to ask him a few questions. The first one is, how did you get started with doing art? Like, did you just decide one time, hey, I want to draw a picture, and then how did that come to be? Well, I'm thinking I was a young kid, and I was a single kid. You know, I didn't have any brothers or sisters. And uh, always been into comics. Started out loving Archie comics. And um, I was typical to my age. I would do everything from silly putty on the page to reading the uh, the newspaper strips on Sunday morning and uh, watching Saturday morning cartoons and you know just like kids who love like watching uh, race car driving I just decided I wanted to get into it just like you know get a car and drive fast I got a pencil and, and drew fast that was it but uh, very much enjoyed comics when I was a kid and felt like I had to be a part of it so what was the first comic you ever worked on uh, I Stan Lee gave me my first job years ago and some of my artwork landed in a Mighty World of Marvel comic book that came out in the UK. Um, some of the work that I've done has appeared in uh, dozens of comics over the years and then I released my own comics which are Mac and Trouble and um, I one time ran a magazine called Main Magazine and I had characters like Stan Lee, uh, Rich Buckler who just passed away last night actually, uh, Herb Trimp, John Orlando, Rob Liefeld and many others uh, do work and appear on the covers or on the insides. So, when did you start your own comic books? Um, about five years ago. I had already been doing artwork for Marvel movies. I worked on uh, the first heavy metal movie back in the 80s. I worked on uh, Spider-Man 2 and 3, The Avengers, Captain America. Uh, I did work for Walking Dead Season 1 and a Night of the Living Dead, a bunch of other horror movies. And I decided, you know what, enough is enough. I gotta do my own thing because after a while, you know, you get stale and stagnant doing everybody else's stuff. And let's be frank, you get annoyed because you're like, okay, I'll do this and then, you know, it's another job and then I'll do this one, oh, it's another job and get paid for it. And you've always got ideas. I had napkins written with my ideas on them and stuffed in envelopes and didn't know what to do. So one day I broke it all out and just did my own thing. And um, I, I enjoy doing artwork of all kinds, but my own books are great. I just look, to me, that's the best stuff I've done. And I'm working on a new Western book right now that's going to be coming out before the end of the year that combines comics with novels. And there's actually television and movie stars that are involved in the project. So, why did you decide to use cats? I was, uh, I was injured. At one time I used to be a professional wrestler and I had taken a really bad trauma to my back and I had a problem walking around. So I was in bed for like four years and my wife brought home a cat and it was a kitten and it was injured and it was in a cage. And I said, well, I'll take care of the cat. So if it wasn't for the cat, I wouldn't have gotten up. I was in bed and it basically just, you know, it mentally just wakes you up. And I started walking around and I started doing things with the cat. And my wife and I always thought it was funny. We gave them funny names, we did jokes about them, and funny voices, and on and on and on. And the project just took on a life of itself. So, our final question for you is, what tips would you give to uh, creators that want to become artists? Don't go to Marvel and DC. Don't go to Image. Don't try to get into another company. When I was a kid, I started in the 70s, the very early 70s. And I used to tell people, oh, I want to do Iron Man, I want to do Spider-Man, I love Superman, Batman, on and on and on. But the problem is the companies aren't the same anymore. They would rather hire graffiti artists from overseas for pennies on the dollar, or they'd rather uh, hire guys who do digital artwork and pump out pages and pages in a couple of days. The best thing is create your own idea, 
make a web comic or uh, a news strip, put out your own comic books. It doesn't cost very much. The internet is incredible to look at. Um, so you can find uh, on-demand printing. Some companies will print as little as one copy of the comic book for you for cheap prices. If your work is good, they'll notice you and you'll get hired by other companies. And if you go to a convention like this one, uh, you might meet other artists and combine your efforts to do other projects. But don't go looking for somebody else to help you with something that you can now do by yourself ten times over and get higher and better rewards. All right, well, thank you for doing this.